ओके लाइक आज नो यस्टर्डे यू हैव डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टाइल लाइक रिगार्डिंग हाउ टू सेट मार्जिन पैडिंग कर्सर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ लाइक हाउ टू डू द बॉर्डर ऑल दिस थिंग वी डिस्कस लास्ट टू लास्ट क्लास एंड यस्टर्डे क्लास एंड यस्टर्डे लाइक इन लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द लिंकिंग लाइक वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लिंकिंग देन वी डिस्कस लॉट मोर थिंग लेट्स गो एंड स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द लिंक ओके as we discussed yesterday like uh, we have different different kind of uh, events or attribute of a link that i'm going to discuss today let me open before going into that code let me explain something that uh, what i am now talking to you all these things what is visited all these things let me draw a image i will show you just imagine this is a browser and it, inside the browser you have a link okay just imagine this is a link this is your link okay. now you have to understand a state of a link or property of a link means what are the different different property of a link like you all, all knows that link is used to navigate from one page to another page we have used we have uh, like learned this one in the html class but in css what you are trying to do it here like my requirement is if i mouse over any of the link the color should be changed and if i click it here and back and back it here sorry what will happen if i navigate to one link to another link it will say that okay you have already navigated to that link then all the different different kind of events whatever inside a link that i'm going to explain here okay now by default is a link like whenever you design any kind of link then suppose you want to set any color or you set, set you want to set any kind of stuff then the attribute is one the link which is the default one you want to set the color you want to set the font size all this thing it's a color before going into visit it let me talk about hover hover means whenever you do any kind of mouse over okay you have to do any kind of mouse over to a link okay so just imagine this is a mouse pointer huh? and in this mouse pointer if you want to over to a link then that time just imagine this is suppose same link okay this is the link this is the link then same time when you want to over a mouse pointer to a link that time if you want to change any style that time you have to use the concept of a colon hover means you can say that anchor is a tag and colon hover is a event okay, always remember it's a event okay event means you if you are doing any operations any pop, user is doing any kind of action to a specific tag or specific one then then you can call as a event okay already you know that event right click event drag event mouse over event select event all the different kind of event the same way if you want to do any of any of the link whenever you going to mouse over the link that time only the event is called hover okay how are you going to write the uh, write to event you have the element name then colon the event name okay element means here we have anchor is the element then event means suppose hover event means when you are going to mouse over the link that time suppose you want to change anything you want to change you want to add any style you want to do anything for that then you have to do this kind of event that is called a colon hover okay got it right this is what a is the element then this colon symbol is for uh, event annotation then the event name inside that you can write all you, you can do a lot of thing right so color i want to change to suppose um, uh, black okay then what will happen if i mouse over this you can see mouse over this one now it comes to uh, so, uh, this, when mouse over this particular link it's convert to black okay you understood the concept of a hover 
hover cannot be only apply link you can apply the hover any of the things any of the things means let me explain just imagine i have a span here okay and inside span i'm writing uh, example hover you see that what i'm trying to do it here if i go mouse over this particular span i want to make this this particular uh, text want to be bold okay now how can do that suppose just imagine there is a requirement if you mouse over any other text you want to increase you want to make it bold or italic just like that now how can do that for doing that let me create one class right here called class suppose hover uh, let me add some hover class here hover no hover duplicate let me class suppose um, action just example i'm giving action then i'm giving the class name called action i told the example if you want to apply any kind of event you have to use the colon symbol okay colon symbol we have a lot of event there but today we will discuss about the hover okay. hover means in action class you are applying the hover event means whenever you in this class someone going to hover what you want to do you want to do font wait bold okay the font total will discuss in separate i will take one class for this font like how you can create a own font like how to use the existing font how to change different different style of font and how you can use the consume the google font also i'm going to discuss but today just know that the font weight is used to set the font weight like bold or like it all these things have to be set right now save it if a mouse over here you can see that once a mouse over this particular span area if the text is becomes like the bold means what i'm trying to say it here if any of the element or any of the class you want to apply any kind of mouse over event then you have to go the element name or the class name or the id name whatever you want to apply you to apply here then colon colon is used to set the event name then we have the event name or property name it's it's whatever you want to say the the property is hover once someone doing the hover what we want to do you have to mention it here okay this is called the hover one got it clear right the concept of hover you got it whenever you want to mouse over any of specifically element if you want to change any styling or color you have to use the concept of hover okay now go and use the concept of active what is active active means you can go and press it here active means you are activating that one mouse over is okay mouse over means just mouse overing you can go and click and don't release don't release means i am clicking and releasing it's one event right i go and click it here and not releasing anything that time suppose you want to change anything you want to do anything how you can do that example okay <clears throat> example suppose this is called a active event active event let me explain it here you got it this is a hover event let me see the active event active event means suppose the same link okay and what will happen your cursor the cursor is top of that and clicked okay top of the link top of the link but the action is clicked means it's already clicked that time only is not released always remember click means i'm not saying it's click and release it's one click right i'm talking about you click it but not release okay that's the reason we have to call the concept called active okay active means you active that one for that reason if you want to apply any kind of css all these things you can do suppose active i want to make it suppose blue blue suppose blue green what will happen if I go and click it, you can see that it is displaying this is link is um, green color. You got it? Difference between hover and active. Active means you go and click it here. Don't release the mouse. But in case of hover, you just over the mouse on top of that. It's called the active. Okay. Now another one, last one is visited. Visited means let me show you one example. Okay. Let me go to Google. Well, let me show hello world.
let me click it here and back you can see the color of this one and this one it is activated but here you can see it's little bit dark because i visited visited this one okay means if i go and inspect this one if i go and inspect this one is there any color it's active maintain the state but what i'm trying to say to here you can see this link right and this link if i click it here and navigate back you can see the color of these two this is the this is a normal color but this is a another color means this is visited when any of the link got visited okay that time only if you want to do any kind of uh, styling for that then you have to use the concept of vegetated let's try that one first let me do that one okay this is a link uh, instead of link vegetated www dot okay you can see the guys the by default color change to green why it's by default color is green to green browser always remember if any of the link visited to this site let me change this site to amazon dot dot in okay change to another one suppose uh, just a second just a second and navigate any of the link it's making it green you what i'm trying to say to here just a second the things will be if any of the link whatever you're seeing here right if it's visited visited means you already clicked there okay or someone navigate to that link already if you want to do any kind of styling then you have to use concept of visited visited means already known, right it's already visited by the user hover means user hovering the uh, hover to the specific link active means you are not visited hover but in between that if you want to click something and don't release it's called active these are the three concept of a link okay why i am giving more important to that because if in future you are developing one application and when you are going to mouse over a one okay just imagine whenever mouse over a link that time you want to change the background color okay just example i'll show you something and angular <clears throat> i'm opening this site you can see if i go and mouse over this link you can see a small uh, background is displaying in this area right now the question how you can do that you can only achieve this type of designing using this hover event okay using this hover event only you can achieve this kind of designing always remember this is more important because whenever uh, like design the application someone mouse overing any link or someone mouse overing any of the button any of the things you want to change any color you want to do any styling then you have to use the concept of hover okay and this visited and this active it's actually it is mostly used for link for this hover you can use in any of the element in html okay this is the use of link in css other other property whatever you learn you can apply it here it's just up to you but here i am discussing about all the different different structure of event and attribute of a link okay clear let's go and discuss about other things called list like uh, you remember when we initial days and uh, discuss about list someone asked me like how can set a custom image to a list right like if i remember this one let me open our list class just a second
okay list you can see we have discussed this list earlier class right where we can set different different type kind of type like alpha numeric numeric all these things and also we can set the different style called uh, like um, we can set like circle d's uh, like non all these things we can use but someone asked me that time how we can set a custom image in this in this places right for that today i'm going to discuss how we can set the custom icon in a particular list for that we're going to discuss on this list one okay let's go for list let me open this list example okay guys you can see that we are using some uh, custom image instead of this uh, instead of that um, instead of this uh, uh, dot 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 and all these things we have used custom image instead of this predefined uh, image okay predefined this icon for that what you can to need to do you already know this syntax right ul li li all these things you already know that okay what you want to do in the ul means underline list okay oh, sorry on order list sorry in ul you have to write ul list style image remember this syntax note it down list style image you have to mention it here and give the path of your image you already know that the give a path you have to use the url right url in the bracket you have to give the path of the image the same way if you want to set any of the list inside the ul you want to set any of the list icon then you will go and set list style image tag means the html the css attribute and set the value of the list style image clear this is the one thing i want to say that time also told like we have to we have to know how to add the different different image in how to add the image in a list this is the syntax you have to remember list hyphen style hyphen image then you have to give the style you have to give the path of the image using the url function okay then automatically it's going to convert instead of showing the this dot 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 and circle it's going to change whatever image you are giving okay this is the use of the ul list style image okay let's go and discuss out lot of thing we have to discuss today and uh, let me discuss about uh, the concept of float okay float means you have to understand the concept of float when you design the application the application is not going to place always the left hand side okay but we discuss uh, uh, like earlier how to what are the different different size of position let me do This is a browser right <clears throat> if you see the browser what will happen either you have left hand side just i'm i'm trying to say it here either you have this left hand side okay either you have this left hand side position either you have center or either you have right hand side right means what i'm trying to say it here in the whole browser if you see any of the browser you have a left middle and right for that reason we are saying as this is a left hand side section this is the middle sec section or center center this is the right okay now float means the float means either you have to float means uh, like how we are going to set the data in the page means what i'm trying to say it here suppose you have a data data means element okay you have a element you want to place what are the place like you have to place in left or even place in right but not middle why not middle the float support float in html in css float support either left hand side or right hand side not middle but the concept is every time you have a left middle and right 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 but what i'm trying to say it here in this example we have only left and right means we have to divide a page in two part this one is the left hand side this is the right hand side there is no middle man here okay how to set middle that we're going to discuss earlier 
but for floating if you are going to use the float one float either it will float on left or it will float on right always remember okay either anything you want to use the concept of float it will go left way or it will go to right way okay there is no concept of middle you have to understand different way means in a square you have to in a square square means a browser you have to do a divide means you have to do a divide this divided left hand side is the left float and the right hand side is the right float now you are going to ask me question why this left and right is required why the left and right required is sometime you are not going to set the value always left hand side or right hand side right some of the cases you want to display the data the equal size means from half part will be left and half part will be right let me show you one example how we can go and set the data left and right part okay for that we have concept called float i'll show you one example here You can see uh, this is the one of the like one of the things I am showing here. This is the left. Suppose this is a, this is one image. Okay, you want to display this image left hand side, and this is the image you want to display right hand side. How you can show this image left and right? For that you have to use the concept of a left float and right float. Okay, what is left float right float? I have added one image. I have added one image inside the paragraph. I have added one image. Okay, this is the image. Okay, and I have added the class called left. Same way, inside my another paragraph, in this second paragraph, I add the same image, but I am using the class called right. Okay, how you can go left and right? You can see this image is left and right. In the image class, I have added. Float equal to left means what will do? It will it will pull it will pull your data to left hand side. If you are using the float right, it will pull the data to the right hand side. Okay, this is the use of left and right. Now you will ask me why it's required. Sometimes you want to give the data in both of the left. Suppose you are designing a page where you want to display the carousel. Okay, carousel means I'll show you one thing. What is carousel? Well, Sino te technology. Okay, Sino technology. You can see we have this left, this red icon here. Right, is left hand side position and right hand side position. Got it? There is no middle one, right? Now suppose you want to design this kind of structure. Then how you can do that? You want to place this one left hand side. You want to place this one right hand side. For that, we have to use the concept of float. Float means you want to floating the element either left. Or either right. There is no middle middle floating. Always be left floating or right floating. It's up to you how you can do that. Okay. That is the use of float. Anyone in doubt on float? Uh, whatever I explain. Just imagine you don't ex don't imagine about this is a page. This is a left hand side. This is a right hand side. And this is a middle side. No. In case of float, you have to understand. This is entire is a page. In middle of the left is a left to left hand side, and middle to right is a right hand side. Okay. How, why floating is required? I'm giving an example. Just see that this is the example. Suppose you want to do one type of this slider. This slider you want to give this uh, like left navigation and right navigation, right? Now how we can go and add this one? For that reason, the same line if you want. To add two element into left side and right side, you have to use the concept of float. Okay. For that reason, we have to use the float left and float right. This is the use of floating. Okay. I am going to share all these things. How you can go to use it? But remember, floating is used when you want to parallelly you want to add the item in left hand side, right hand side in same row. That is the use of left and right float. Okay. Basically, float is used to use this same. In this, uh, suppose you want to design same kind of uh, UI structure in your page, then you have to use the concept of flo float here. Okay. We have covered float. Then we we'll go for concept called display. Okay. You have to know display. Display is the interesting one. What is display? Means <clears throat> whatever you are uh, you are displaying in this page is called a display. 
okay means you want to display suppose i want to this is the text i don't want to show to the user you have two option either you can hide it you can remove it or you can hide it okay means you can remove the text otherwise you can hide it now the question is how i can hide a text if you already written here how i can hide a text and how i can visible a text okay suppose i am giving one example you are writing one programming okay so based on some condition you want to show and hide some data just example i am giving one example example suppose uh, i am giving if the date is greater than 24th just example if the current date is greater than 24th this one needs to be hide data is coming from database but in a ui you want to hide this one so how you can do that you have to write a syntax which is going to hide this data right either using css how you can achieve that to using css you have, how you can achieve that there is a syntax is there using that syntax you can show and hide a data in html let me show you one example for that okay Let me show one thing called uh, visible and non-visible, okay? Let me create another file, I will show you a clear example. Let's imagine you have a div, okay? And style uh, I am writing the inline style width. Width I am going to discuss today. Uh, what is width and height? Width is suppose um, 50 pixel and height is 50 pixel. Okay. And background color is red. can see that I have a div and I have marked this is a 50 pixel width 50 pixel height and background color is red the same way let me copy it and make the background color as suppose in blue green whatever okay you can see it's displaying two symbol now let me, uh, I'll be going to discuss different, different style of display property. The first concept you have to know, how I can display these two in same line. Okay. The first requirement is like, you already know that div means a block. The people who missed the HTML class for div and span, the initial days. Let me explain the, again here. This is the important one. You have to understand the concept of a div first. Always remember, whenever you declare any div in HTML, div means a division. Division means a block. Means, this, just imagine this is a browser. Always remember this is a browser. Inside that, you declare one div. Suppose you declare one div. What will happen when you declare a div? It will create a block area. Always remember, it will create a block area. Whenever, if you declare any span, okay, just imagine this is a div. If you declaring any span, it will create a inline area. What is inline area? Means same line area. I'll discuss you. It's the same line area. Sorry, I'll change the color. Same line area. Means div always create a block area, whereas span will create a inline area. Means same line area. Due to that if you are adding any div into your page you can see it's going for new new line because as i told always div create a new line but i'll show you now the example of a span let me add a span here okay let me span, add a span here i'll i'll give the same structure of a span but in different different structure okay what will do suppose let me change to green and it will change, it will change to black Let me change to deep to span here.
it's not displaying because we don't have content you guys see it tends to link okay you can see that what i explained here if you create any div any div here it will always create a block area like it is a block this is a block whereas if you create a span you're going to create inline area inline means same line okay always remember if html or css someone playing inline means inline means same line block means new new line okay always remember this term this is the term you have to use now i have a question i want to make these two as the same line and these two in different line okay what i'm just understand what i'm trying to say it here by default dv is a block and span is a inline but i want to write a code the code is going to change these two to same line and this span to new line or block how to do that to do that we have to use the style called display now you have to display what you have to display the same line right display colon inline means you want to display this data as a inline same as here second one display inline guys please understand all this concept this is the basic uh, basic concept of a angle like css you have to know all these things let me do save it and refresh add some content here okay. you can see okay let me remove this two first for example previously we have added a div and that div giving a data in one by one one by one block but if i want to change this block to inline means same line they have you have to use the concept of a display inline always remember display inline but the previous one what i discussed this is called a span span is by default inline i want to change the span to block then simple here i have to write display block okay let me copy this one sorry display block it guys means now i have changed using the css i have changed the behavior of span and div always remember these two this is mostly required in all the things you have to know the concept of display and display in line okay these you have to know the things means always remember if you have to change to block to in line you have to use the syntax called display in line and do the reverse from inline to display the block then you have to change the display block okay now now inline means what will happen whatever wherever the content is there let me show you the big screen let me zoom it always inline means it will only occupy the content of like so this is square right this square is only displaying based on the content but whereas we have given the width and height is 50 pixel but that's got ignore why the inline is always con uh, depend upon the content inside the tag always remember this one if you are going to use inline it's always a matter the content inside this element whereas if you are going to use the block block is not concept block is not considering the content it is always considering whatever width and height you are giving due to that you can see in span due to i have used the call block due to that what happened it's always always considering this width and height width is 50 pixel height is 50 pixel but in the case of div Whereas you define the width and the height is 50, 50 pixel, but due to your added display as inline, you have to use this is only considered this content size. 
okay now you have a question okay i want content as well as i want this size in case of inline to achieve that one what you can do let me copy the same structure again same one instead of using inline what you do you have to use inline block got it inline inline hyphen block if you go to inline hyphen block you can see that this is the basic content this is the basic content this is the content but this is instead of a content it's going to calculate both the width and height got it this is the use of inline block you have to understand all these things this is the basic uh, of the display okay inline and all these things clear all the, uh, the difference between inline and block and inline block which is the basic use of a display okay but initially i told display actual display means you want to display something right display you want to do some kind of like uh, uh, display means you want to show some kind of uh, you want to show and hide the content right now how you can how you can show and hide a content okay let me give an example let me copy this three Let me copy this three. Uh, let me add some breakpoint. Break is not going to work. First image content one, two, three. It's content one, content two. I have two things. What I'll do. I have to use inline block. Second guys, let me write all this syntax. Okay. This is content one. Okay, you already clear, right? Let me move this one to top. Yep. Okay. Just imagine these two block content one and content two. Now, I want to apply the concept of hidden and visibility. Okay. Now, you have to know what is hidden and visibility. You have to know, let me apply some concept called hide. For that, display none. I'm going to display all. I'm going to explain all these things. Just let me write the syntax first. Display hidden. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Okay, let me explain one by one. I have a three div 
content 1, content 2, content 3. I want to hide the middle one. I want to hide the first one. So, for example, I want to hide the middle one. Then how are you going to hide that one? You can write the syntax called display non. Difference, you can see it's gone. Okay. Let me try another way. I'll do, I write it here visibility hidden. Did anyone notice anything about this syntax? If I am using display non, if I am using the tag called display non, what will happen is not going to suppose just again display non save it you can see that div means this t div is not occupied this area always remember if i going to use display non means it's not going to block the area whereas if i going to use the concept of a display hidden what will happen this this content is hidden but this content is occupied the area this is the difference between the visibility hidden and display non based on your requirement you have to use these two concept visibility hidden and display non display non always remember if you're using using display non then it's going to it will do it will going to hide the entire section means it, it's totally remove this element from this area whereas if you are using visibility hidden it, it will just hidden the visibility it's not removing the space from the browser okay these are the two difference between visibility hidden and display none always remember all these things okay now why I am saying all these things? Just suppose you want to do, uh, you want to get some programming. On a click of this one, you want to say, show this area, and you click of something, you want to hide this area. Then how you can do that? Either you have to write display non, otherwise you can use visibility hidden. Okay, it's up to you how you can using this one. But I, I always remember, like I, I, I always recommended, always use the display non one. Suppose you want to hide some content from your web page okay you have to use the concept of display none but just imagine this kind of designing suppose you have three one two three consecutive divs there you want to hide this one maybe your ui going to be display ugly right in that case you have to use the concept of divisibility hidden based on the requirement based on the, all these things you have to use these two attribute carefully but i always re recommended use display non because it's the, removing the entire area but where is visibility hidden it's going to remove the content means you are not going to display the actual data means whatever the area but the space is going to occupied by the browser okay that is the difference between display non and visibility hidden this is all about your display okay i have created a lot of example in display in uh, i'll share with you you are going to show all these things Let's go and discuss about width, height and max width. Okay. What is width and max width? Let me first go and get on uh, width and height. What is width height? Now you know that in second. anything in the page in our browser is measurable means we can give a measurement for that right suppose you are adding one image okay if you're adding an image we discussed earlier if you adding something in the page either we can set the measurement unit you have to set the measurement unit using percentage or pixel later class we are going to discuss different different unit but just remember we have to either set pixel or set the percentage for that you have to understand what is width and what is uh, height like all of you know what is width what is height if something grow in the right hand side means if something grow in horizontal we call as width if something grow 
the vertical wise we call it height always remember i think you all know that but let me explain one, once more if something is growing right hand side right to the side or like growing in horizontal we call as a width if something is uh, uh, like growing in the downside or the vertical side which call as a width we call as a height okay means in the web page if you want to set any uh, element any elements the deep span or whatever i show you just now right if you want to set any kind of element size in measurement you have to use the concept of width and height example suppose you are adding one image and in image you want to set the size size of the image then what will do you have to set the width and height right for that reason suppose you want to set any kind of width and height of a anything then what will do you have to use the, the style class called width and height okay means let me this is the my div i explained earlier this is my div i want to set the width and height of this div then i will go and write the div then i write the width this width it may be pixel or it may be percentage okay there is a lot of thing um cm C, like the centimeter like inches all these things are there we are going to discuss all these things but just remember as of now you have to remember this pixel and percentage in the width we have to set the width of the things i like suppose you give support for 450 pixel and height you can give you have to give the height of the anything like you have to use the height one then you have to give support 450 pixels now suppose give the background color i know you people are already know all these things width and height but let me explain once more because we did not discuss all these things okay this is the things but what will happen if you decrease the sorry if you decrease this one or increase this one the always the height and width will be constant what it because you explicitly giving pixel from day one i'm saying pixel means it's always fixed means based on the screen if it's a 450 450 pixel means it's a 450 pixel there is no if you open and close these things it's not going to change all these things but if you are going to set this one in case of suppose let me set the woods as suppose 100 percent as i told the browser window is always 100 percent always remember then based on that you have to set from 0 to 100 right if i refresh you can see it's enter getting 100 percent if i'm going to increase the height width is going to increase if i'm going to decrease the height is going to decrease okay the same way if you're going to send the height 100 percent is it going to work let's see no why because you cannot set the height in percentage you will say why i'm not going to set the height in percentage because height percentage means if you are setting anything percentage that is only work for width area okay if you are going to set anything in height in percentage area it is not going to calculate the height always remember height you have should be ignored no need to give the height okay but things will be if, if i don't give the height how are you going to measure it you're going to measure based on the content okay but now the question why i cannot set the send set the size of a deep in height and uh, we cannot set the height is 100 um, percent how we can set the size height in 100 percent that will going to discuss in case of position means in further classes if you are going to discuss the concept of position means how we're going to set the different, different position of a deep that time only we're going to discuss how we can set the height in percentage but in generally in generally you cannot set a height of a div 100 percent but there is a trick using that trick we can achieve the height in 100 percent always remember width is going to work in 100 percent there is no doubt but if you are going to use a height 100 percent based on the content is going to grow okay let me example hello okay it's going to give you hello due to there is no content the height is not measurable okay same way if i am going to add the multiple hellos here it will go to increase that way okay here you you cannot set the 100 percent 
because this data is going to grow based on the content that's the reason height cannot be set in generally deep but we will going to explain later how we can set this height 100 percent okay that we're going to explain later as of now just imagine if you want to set any width and height of any of the div or span you have to use the tag called width and height and width you can set either pixel pixel is always fixed always fixed means based on the screen size the pixel will be always suppose you define 200 pixel it's 200 pixel whatever you are going to set height you have to set the same way but as of now we are not able to see the height 100 percent but in future we will discuss how we can set height in percentage as of now let me set it 50 pixel okay you can see after that 50 pixel it's getting overlap okay just so up to you i'm going to set it this is all about your width and height okay now let me show you one question called max height you can see i have set here height 5 500 pixel means if the data is beyond to 500 pixel nothing is happening okay in next class we will going to learn how we can add a scroll bar means if the data is beyond 500 pixel how you can show your scroll bar here if the data is beyond the vertical one how can you show the horizontal uh, like, like horizontal scroll bar how you can show the vertical scroll bar means what i'm trying to say it here you can see if i if i scroll if i squeeze the screen automatically you can see the screen the scroll bar is coming right this is the default browser scroll bar but what i'm trying to say it here this is my section right in this section if the data is more than this content means more than 500 because you define that this is a 500 pixel right if more than 500 pixel and that time if i going to add more data then i want to display a scroll bar okay that is the basic requirement how can I achieve all these things we will going to discuss in next class then we will going to read about the concept of max width and mean width and how can display the how you can set the uh, the uh, scroll bar and last we will discuss how can create a custom scroll bar custom scroll bar means you know the default browser giving this scroll bar right this scroll bar but just imagine i want to set the custom scroll bar let me custom scroll bar okay just imagine let me show you something okay just imagine this kind of scroll bar you want to set this kind of scroll bar okay and you have to design this kind of scroll bar how you can achieve this kind of scroll bar in css i'll show you how you can do like mouse over all these things i'm going to discuss in further class we're going to discuss about the all this kind of scroll bar okay